In the year of our Lord, 1349, the Black Death had already decimated more than half of Europe. It was both a devout and superstitious time, and the people believed that God was visiting the plague upon them to expiate their sins. Father Thomas, in the name of God! God? Who's God? God has forsaken us. That is blasphemy. There was great turbulence within the church. The fallen angel Lucifer seized this opportunity. He chose a leader who would recruit a great following and administer his prime evil throughout the world. We have pledged ourselves to the only real God, the only true force, our Lord God, Satan. I will excommunicate you for this blasphemy. I have given you fair warning. Join us now or die. Never! I commend him to thee, O Satan, and thus we seal our bargain. Who will be next? Join us now and live forever, or die for nothing. You'll burn in hell, Brother Satan. Father Ballard! George, come quick! In nomine Dei nostri, Satana, Luciferi, Excelsi, in the name of our Lord God, Satan, the ruler of the world, I hereby command the forces of darkness to bestow their infernal powers upon me. Remember, if you have to take anyone out, it's got to look like an accident. What's the matter? You want me to read it for you? I can read. Well, look, you better get moving. There isn't all that much time. And we don't want to disappoint Thomas, do we? Gotta go. I'll see you later, okay? Yeah, I'll be waiting. I'm not sure I deserve you. Oh, that you deserve me. <sighs> you really aren't gonna wait for me? Bye. I love you too, honey. Oh, I gotta go. Okay, bye bye. Well, don't you look like the cat that just swallowed the little yellow bird? Oh, Alex, I'm in love. I mean, you guys are serious? If you call love serious. Do you know it's one month today since you first walked into the shelter? And one month since you haven't taken any drugs or done any tricks for Leon? Did I ever try to get you back? Yeah, I see him on the street sometimes. He acts like he never even knew me. 
Well, that's because he didn't. You know, Leon, he's got to be cool. I have a job for you. Now, don't get excited, but it's on Wall Street. Wall Street? It's a paralegal position. You'll be making about 23.5. Oh, my God, do you think I could get it? Well, they saw your resume, and they seem really impressed. A paralegal on Wall Street? I don't know. Kathy, you're a college graduate. You've got credits in criminal law, and I don't suppose Leon knew that, did he? I'm glad he didn't. Anyway, the job interview is tomorrow at 2 o'clock. I'll write down the address. Then there's a problem with your probation officer, but I spoke to her this morning. Oh, shit. Oh, everything's fine. She's really happy with what you've done with yourself. She's really proud of you. You should be proud of me. I am. Come on, I want you to meet Sam. Sam, this is my dear friend Alex. Nice to meet you. Same here. So, you're the one that's stealing Kathy away. I'm going to give it a shot. Well, I'm not exactly resisting. <laughs> nice to meet you. Kathy, good luck. And you guys behave yourself? is jumping in and out of bed with people. Thank you very much, Alex. Well, maybe I am just a bit extreme. But you're extreme to the other extreme. Don't you want to get poked? You wanted to see me, Sister Angela? Bishop McCabe, I know what happened to Father Daniel. It was sad, but expected. He had a massive coronary. No, they killed him. You're holding their talisman in your hand. Sister Angela. How much do you know about this? 
When I was a child, we traveled a lot. My father had business in many countries. My mother was always so strange. Towards the end of her life, we lived in Egypt, and it was there that she met those people. She became devoted to them. And one night, I was taken to a great hall. I was barely conscious. When I woke, I was chained to a cross. Father came and rescued me, and Mother died a few weeks later. That whole night is very blurry, except for one thing, that that face was on the monster that they used to. They used me. Mother let them use me. I went away to school. There was evil in the world, so I joined the convent. You poor child. I'm afraid it's worse than you think. Hundreds of years ago, thousands perhaps, a sect, a cult was developed which worshipped a pre-Christian horned god. They were dedicated to destruction, damnation, and the weakness of the flesh. Some were thought to have eternal life granted to them by Satan. I believe they've returned. Your mother probably tried to become one of them. As for poor father Daniel, he must have discovered their corrupt lair. What can be done? They must be destroyed. I've been in touch with the Archbishop, and some plans have been made. Please, Bishop, let me help. It would be extremely dangerous. We need someone from the church to infiltrate their cult. My life was saved, saved for this. Please, Bishop, let me go to them. They're extremely powerful. I don't think we can take the risk. Please, Bishop. It must be done quickly. At the winter solstice, they're in their most vulnerable state. How will I find them? They will find you. I can arrange that. They will find ironic pleasure in accepting a disgrace nun. But you mustn't be fooled. They will be masquerading as priests, nuns, and bishops. Their heresy knows no bounds. I'll arrange for you to leave the convent. You'll be given some instruction. And it will be known that you have renounced your vows. Yes, Bishop. And may God be with you. Oh, oh hell, I'm going to check it out. Much to drink, huh? Yeah. Have fun, buddy.
So what do you buy a man that's 84 years old and you haven't seen in 13 years? Jared's home. Oh, you're some help. I assume you had other girlfriends besides me, right? And? And? Am I different? The others don't compare to you. If that's what you mean. No, that's not what I meant. Hey, Alex, what's wrong? Tell me. Well, we've been going out for three months now, right? Don't you think it's a little strange that I won't let you sleep with me? I'm still hoping. <laughs> well, I think I owe you an explanation. Your father really loved me. Guess that's what I thought. He was really sick. I was just six years old. And he sold me. I don't know, but maybe it was just for kicks, but they took pictures of me. Oh, God. Don't, don't go on, Alex. Don't no, to. I have to. The men they were taking pictures of me. They undressed me. And there was a little boy. And they, they put us together, and they made us touch each other. It was like it went on for months. And Father said that I couldn't tell anybody because they wouldn't understand, and, and they'd lock me up. My grandfather just came to the house one day, and said father wasn't coming back. It's just like he vanished off the face of the earth. After he was gone, didn't you tell anybody what he did to you, that he abused you? No, the only one that knew was grandfather. And now you. Sister Angela. Yes. You're much prettier than your picture. Come. We've been expecting you. Can I help you? Hi, I'm Detective Dan Carr. Homicide. Homicide? Yes, I understand that you have a young lady that works here by the name of uh, Kathy Burnham. I'd like to talk to her. Well, she doesn't exactly work here, but... Typical police efficiency. All right. Well, what's Kathy got to do with homicide? That's what we're trying to find out. Her boyfriend, Sam Pelham, Pelham was murdered last night in her apartment. Are you sure? I just saw him yesterday. Well, he's not breathing. He wouldn't talk to me. My guess is he's dead. Oh, my God. He was slaughtered and she's missing. We'd like to have a word with her. Do you know where she is? Yes, of course. Um, she had an interview at 2 o'clock this afternoon. Well, it's 1.30 now. Maybe I can catch her. Do you have the address? Yes, of course. Look, she would never miss this interview. It means everything to her. Let's hope she shows. Aren't you cutting it a little close? Your time is running out. Are you sure you can deliver a blood relative? Delivered one 13 years ago, didn't I? You did. But he wasn't exactly what we had in mind. This time, we expect you to deliver a woman. A young, innocent woman. I'm aware. And Alexandra is going to be perfect. But as far as my son is concerned, he deserved to die. He abused my granddaughter. Remember, you get extra points if she's a virgin. She's been terrified of men ever since that dumb son of a bitch fucked with her head. God works in strange ways, doesn't he? 
You're being very flippant for a man about to sacrifice his granddaughter. Remember, your life won't be worth much if you screw up this ceremony. You're talking to me like I'm a beginner. I've got my victim and I'll deliver. I assure you, nothing will go wrong. Dear George, you're a miserable, selfish old man. And I think for your own protection, dear George, I better keep an eye on this deal myself. Why are you so good to me? Look, George, I don't give a damn about you. But Lucifer hates losing anyone from his family. That reflects on me. And this I won't stand for. Did you see this? None accused of devil worship is excommunicated. I know about it already. We've made contact. Hello? Alice. Detective Carp. Kathy never showed for her appointment. Oh, my God. Something's happened. We put out an APB. She's officially missing. Dan, she's a good girl. Call me if you hear anything, please. Thanks. Uh, that's fine, Mrs. Kinto. Uh, thanks. George, I have a splitting headache. Okay. When? Can't you wait until after the ceremony? No, I can't. I waited for you after the last sacrifice, but you disappeared. Went off to have coffee with Thomas, I presume. Something like that. Well, eventually, my dear Allison, I intend to have as much power as Thomas. Not this year, maybe not the next, maybe not in this century, but one day, as Satan is my witness, I will replace Thomas as the leader. Are you crazy? Talking like that can be very dangerous, especially before your ceremony. I'm not afraid. I've devoted my life to power, to control. And one day, I will rule all men. I will rule eternity. <laughs> well, and here I always thought you had a damaged ego. It's dangerous for you to come here. These monsters are capable of anything. I'm sure I wasn't followed. Bishop, they want me to join them, and I'm sure I'll have to take some kind of vows. Will God understand? Don't be frightened, my child. In your heart, you will pray to God. You'll be safe. If you will trust me, if you will hold nothing back from me. Please, Mom, they're expecting us, and Granddad wants us to be there. You can go without me. I'm not going without you. I'm bringing Bill, and I'm bringing you. Alex, you know how I feel about those people. I was never comfortable around your father's family. I think they're... They're what? Evil. Evil? Oh, for Christ's sakes, Mom. I mean, they're a little weird, but evil. How can you say that? Easily. Granddad's always been kind to us. I mean, I know he's always been away, but he's always sending presents and those letters. Come on, Mom. He needs us. Us is not exactly what George needs. We haven't seen the pardon since I was a little girl. Come on. I can't put my finger on it. Maybe evil is too strong a word, but they have always made my skin crawl. Oh, please, Mom. Please. Oh, right. Having fun, you two? Fantastic. 
this is Father Thomas Seaton, an old family friend. Uh, uh, Francis, my daughter-in-law, Alexandra, my granddaughter, Bill King, her fiance, and uh, Alison Devereaux, an old friend. Father, how wonderful. Tell me, Alexandra, do you know the evil history of the Parkman family? No, I don't. John Parkman, the pirate beheaded by Charles I? Let me tell you all about it. What kind of a priest is that? Very modern. Has Alexandra spoken to you yet about coming here to live with me? She hasn't said a thing. Oh, I spoke to her when you first arrived. Uh, I think she would be very happy here with me. She's happy where she is. So she said, Francis. But I've got this whole big empty house. To tell you the truth, I'm lonely. Poor thing. You know, I've always adored that child. I think it would be good for her to live here. God knows she wouldn't want for anything. I've never been exactly poor, but after these last few years abroad, I've returned a very wealthy man. Congratulations. So, what do you think? About Alex coming to live with you? I'm totally opposed to it. I don't like you. I don't like any of the Parkmans. I never did. You married a Parkman, my dear. Yes, and lived to regret it, my dear. Look, Alex is a grown woman. I can't tell her where to live. But I can sure as hell try to stop her. But it will be her decision. Yes. And she'll move in with you over my dead body. Alexandra tells me you're a professor. I don't, I don't. Uh... Oh, um, associate professor, Renaissance history. Ah, fascinating period. Hot days, the mad blood stirring, particularly in the church. Oh, well, you clergy must have had your hands full with Luther and the Reformation. Some of us had our hands full, yes. <laughs> I imagine you studied that period a lot, huh? Oh, yes, in great detail. One can become quite immersed in it, feel as if he's almost there. Sometimes I think it's still with us. I don't think I'd go that far. No, I'm sure you wouldn't. I don't believe I told you all that. I shouldn't have gone on about myself so much. I'm sorry. Sweet Alex, come to me when you need a friend. Someone to talk to. I will always be here for you. Give me your hand. You trust me, Alexandra? Yes. You need strength from a man. You need real love. A man's love. Do you love Bill? I think so. He's so young. I think maybe he's not enough for you, my Alex. We're getting married. Alex, there's more to love than marriage. You must lose yourself. Your body must become like air, free. You must be possessed by passion. Do you understand me, Alexandra? Shh. Your eyes tell me how you feel. You are so beautiful, so fragile. So vulnerable. I will be your protector, your champion. Look deeply into my eyes. You touch my very heart, my very soul. Making a fool out of yourself and me. I don't know what you're talking about. Alice, come on. You and that priest. Why didn't you just go upstairs and screw him, huh? What an incredibly attractive man. Who? Father Thomas Seaton. Too bad he's a priest. I might come out of retirement for him. 
Ugh, I'm exhausted. Your grandfather wiped me out. He's in good form. Did you see his eyes, Mom? He had the most incredible eyes. I could hardly look away. Ugh. Let's talk in the morning, dear. Those Parkmans make your old mother feel ancient and tired. All right, Mom. Good night. Good night. Good night. Don't drink too much. I'm sorry you're still upset. I'm upset. How about the wound? Look, I'm sorry what happened, but we were only talking. <laughs> oh, he's a priest, for Christ's sakes. Alex, tell me, you still love me? Yes, I still love you. church. Where's all that rage come from? The church is a lie, and I could no longer live with that lie. What is that lie? The church is supposed to care about people, but all they care about is power and money. I was a fool to believe in them, a fool to take my vows. The church is corrupt, and it's always been that way right down through history. Do you know that we were once part of that church? We were a medieval order which broke away in the 1300s during the plague. Since then we have been renegades, but we've always operated from a church. The devil's powers are stronger on consecrated ground. Satan himself is a fallen angel. Like the church, we too are concerned about power and money. But we don't deny it. We aren't hypocrites. Sister Angela, no matter how much power and gold the church hierarchy has, they eventually die. We don't. Our kingdom isn't in some afterlife. 
It's right here on Earth. There were rumors about you and your people when I was in the convent. There have always been rumors. They've made some feeble attempts to put us out of business, but they always fail. You see, without us, they cannot exist. Sister Angela. Five years ago, you made your vows to God. Are you ready to renounce them now? Yes. Are you prepared to make your vows to our church? There's nothing I want more. Unlike the church, our vows are irrevocable. Once taken, should you ever break these vows, your fate will be swift and terrible. I understand. Stand, Sister Angela. Sister Angela Spencer, you're about to become a sister of our Lord God, Satan. Denounce your former God. Sister Angela Spencer. That was very messy and very awkward. You know Thomas has very little control over the details. Well, that doesn't help me. The police aren't convinced it was an accident. They've been questioning me and Alexandra. How could it be anything else? She was obviously drinking and choked on her own vomit. What do the cops want? There was no sign of forced entry, so what's the problem? Well, I don't know. But next time, get Thomas to have a chat with you-know-who. <laughs> sure. I'll have him make a phone call. George, you're an old fool. I think you'd better join the bereaved daughter. And remember, we didn't go to all this trouble so that she could get married and live happily ever after. It was a beautiful ceremony. I just wish you could have done the service. I think Mother would have liked that. But you know how it is? Politics, the diocese. Are you all right? Yeah, I just miss her so much. I don't know why this happened. It's God's will. We just have to accept it. Moving in with your grandfather was the right idea. Alex? Alex, why didn't you tell me? Now is not the time to be alone. 
You'll be with people who love you. It'll be the best thing for you. Especially with Christmas coming. I suppose you're right. Of course he's right. Father Thomas is always right. Bill, I wonder if you could help me. Uh, there are some problems with the arrangements. I could use your moral support. If you insist, I'll see you back at the course. I miss you, my Alex. You are very dear to me. I can feel your pain as if it were my own. There is something that I have to talk to you about. But not here, not now. There's something I have to talk to you about too, Father. Something I don't understand. I know what you want to know. You really think it's a good idea to move in with him, huh? I mean, I thought you didn't trust apartments. My mother didn't trust them. Your mother seemed pretty rational, Alex. How come she didn't trust them? She thought they were evil. Well, that's a pretty heavy thing to say. She must have really believed it. Yeah, she believed it. And you don't? Of course not. And as for that so-called priest, Seton, is that his name? He should be a parkman if that's what it really means to be evil. And what the hell is that supposed oh, to mean? Oh, Alex, come on. He doesn't exactly act like a man of God. Every time I see you two together, he's got his hands all over you. Well, I don't think you know what you're talking about. And I'm sick and tired of you putting him down. He cares about me. And he understands what I'm going through, which is apparently a lot more than I can say about you. Man is not a man. This is very dangerous for you. If you stop now, no one will blame you. I can't stop now. There is going to be a ceremony on December 21st, just as you said. Something about the Earth's forces shifting and Satan becoming more accessible. On midnight of December 21st, they're going to sacrifice a young girl. I need to know from you how I can save her. There is a way, but it'll take all your courage. And if you fail, the consequences could be devastating. You got any dope? Are you kidding? I do. Oh, man, I don't have any works. I do. Hey, Wait a minute, that's not smack. What is that, man? It's better than smack. It's new. I just did so myself. I'm really fucked. You're gonna love it. I don't know. Man, what do you want from me, man? I don't, I don't have any money. I don't even have a place to stay. <laughs> I don't want to take you. I just want to turn you on, that's all. Maybe I made a mistake. No way. I'll try it. I'll try it. No, I, I got this thing about needles. I got to do it myself. Safety. No harm will come to you. I'm thirsty. Wow, what a hangover. It must have been some night. I see we played some games. Where the hell am I? 
You are with me. Okay, what's the gag? If you will trust me, if you will hold nothing back from me, if you will let me protect you, I will give you love as you've never known before. <laughs> you will become a part of me, and the great darkness will become a part of you. Hey, what's the deal? What is this, a psychodrama? You will attend her who is the ultimate sacrifice. Now we're getting somewhere. Sacrifice, that's something I understand. Take care. Look deeply into my eyes and sink into a twilight world. You will sleep and do as I did. What kind of shit is this? You will sleep. Hey, Mac, you're hurting me. You'll do as I say. You're not! <laughs> What's the matter? Didn't she like you? Don't you dare speak to me like that. Get her out of here. Suppose I don't feel like it. You forget what I can do. I can send you back. Have you forgotten where you were before we rescued you? In the hospital. I was sick. Sick? You were in a fucking padded cell in the psych ward at Bellevue for killing three people, including your mother. You're not one of us. You're just a hired hand. You will never be one of us. You said I could be immortal. <laughs> I lied. Now, don't be a complete asshole and put that down. Okay, Ben? Oh! Oh! What was in that dream? It was really dark. And I was tied to this cross. I can't remember anymore. I'm okay. You go back to bed, okay, Mrs. Quinto? <laughs> Call me Maria. I get you something to drink. Oh, no, you don't have to bother. <laughs> no, no, it's no bother. Guess who? Hello, Bill. Still mad? No, I'm not still mad. Yes, you are. All right, I'm still mad. We need to talk. Can you meet me? No, I can't meet you. I have a meeting. It's important, Alex, don't you think? Well, can it wait for the weekend? All right. Class at three. Fine. Don't be late. Bye. Let's talk. Can't we go inside and freeze? No, I know. I, I got to make a point here. Listen, I got a plan. Um, do you like this cold weather? No. Why? St. Croix. What? Let's go to St. Croix for Christmas. Oh, I, well, I, I'd love to, but I couldn't. Why not? Well, I can't leave Grandpa at Christmas. Why? Isn't he old enough to take care of himself? Or is it something else? It's that Seton guy, isn't it? You can't stand to be away from him. For Christ's sake, I don't want to argue about it. I'm going back to work. Oh, wait, I'm sorry. I'm jealous. I don't enjoy watching other men touch you when you barely let me. Don't. I'm being very patient, but it's not easy. This is Judy. Judy has no last name. Sit up like a lady. I picked her up in front of Port Authority. She was turning tricks, and she's underage. That's a big fucking deal, man, ain't it? I should arrest her for hooking. Well, do whatever the fuck you want, man. 
Don't do me any favors. But first I thought I would do her a favor, so I brought her here. Any news about Kathy? None. So where do you live, Judy? World Hotel. Wonderful. Hey, I don't need any value judgments. I pay my own rent. I didn't until this morning. So where were you this morning? I had a little dispute with the front desk. Her pimp was arrested for murder. We got him downtown in the holding tank now. Sorry, I can't. The shelter's full. Sounds cozy. Okay, Snow White, I tried. Let's go. The dwarf's waiting in the precinct. Wait a minute. Okay, okay, I'll take her. If you lock her up now, you might as well throw away the key. Oh, a death wish. Well, it's your funeral. Mrs. Quinto, this is Judy. She'll be staying with us for a few days. Yeah, I know. Mr. Parkman phoned and told me. He's very generous of Granddad. Hello, Judy. Can I get you something? Yeah. You got any vodka? I don't think you need any vodka. I don't need any of your shit. No vodka? What about a beer? Oh, I guess a beer would be okay. Actually, Mrs. Quinto, I'll have one, too. What are you, my fucking jailer? I could walk out that door right now and get some. And what would you buy it with? I don't have to buy it. Someone always buys it for me. Look, you're lucky to be here. That cop was going to throw you oh, in jail. Give me a break. And where would you get a beer in jail? Oh, I'm supposed to be grateful. Well, nobody asked you for nothing, so I don't know why you bother. Sometimes I wonder. So it sounds like this cop has the hops for you, Alex. Is that all you can think about, Brett? Oh, God, give me a break. I am only doing this to cheer you up. You're so depressed. I'm sorry. I've had a lot on my mind. Lately. What? I said I'm sorry. I've had a lot on my mind lately. Why? <laughs> you know. I went out with this cop once. God, Brian. I swear he was a sexual psychopath. If you ask me, he was in love with his nightstick. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> you know, I do feel better. You kind of have that effect on me, brat. <laughs> You sure you don't want to go for a drink after some shit? Oh, I can. I got at least five pounds off my bodacious butt by tomorrow. I get to meet Norman's parents. Because, <laughs> you know, I think he's getting real serious, and I'm just not so sure anymore that he's Mr. Wright. Oh, please come for a drink, just one little one. Oh, oh, Alice, I cannot. After the club closes, I'll be here all by myself, and I'm all swimming. Do you want to come? I got to continue the never-ending battle against cellulite. You know what I mean? Oh. Nervous. <laughs> uh, you know, I think 
You are really asking for it, you moron! Don't you ever touch them again! <laughs> Don't know. <No. laughs> Stop it. Oh, we're supposed to play. It is. <laughs> getting ridiculous. I feel like a teenager. Oh, don't be mad. I'm not mad. I'm just about to give up. Did you hear that? It's probably the old man. No, he's not supposed to be home till later. Probably nothing. Bill, don't be mad. Hey, no, it's okay, y'all. Really, I'm not mad. I'm not. Hey, Al, remember, remember that, that charm, the talisman you showed me? Do you still have it? <laughs> Talk about changing the subject. Yeah, why? I did a little more research. I found an exact copy of it in Montague Summers. It's, a, it's authentic, a real artifact. It's ancient, two, three thousand years old. No kidding. My mother had it on her body when she died. And Mrs. Quinto had it in her hand. Don't you think that's a little strange? Yes, I do. And I think your phony priest has something to do with it. Oh, come on, and that's Bill, not, not all. this again. That's not all. I think your grandfather's involved. Why does he look so young, Alex? He should have a foot and a half in the grave and he's steady. He looks 50. You're nuts! Am I? Yes, you are. <laughs>
Detective Dan Carr, homicide. Carr. Hi, my, uh, uh, this is Bill King. I'm calling about Alexandra Parkman. She's my girlfriend. Yes, I know who you are. Listen, I think her life is in danger. Now, this is going to sound really stupid, but I think her family is mixed up in some sort of a, a cult. And we don't have much time because some ritual, some ceremony is going to be happening. Look, as long as there are no human sacrifices, that's not against the law. Save me a chicken with... <laughs> I think Alex is in danger. Because two people who were close to her have died under very unusual circumstances. Strangely enough, Mr. King, we are aware of this. Look, this is a little complicated to talk in the phone. We have to talk in person. I'm going to pick up Alexandra, and I'm going to meet you at the precinct in an hour, okay? If you insist. She's not at work. Now, where does she go? It's important that I see her. Why, Bill, I believe she's in church. Church? What? Oh, Seton's church. Uh, yes, she went to see Father Seton. She's been feeling a bit depressed lately, and, uh... I don't know what I think anymore. When I'm not with you, everything seems normal. But when I hear your voice... see your eyes... Tell me about your relationship with Bill. He knows there's something wrong, and he's blaming you for it. But he should be blaming me. He wants me to make love with him. And I keep pushing him away, but if I don't, I'm afraid I'm going to lose him. Listen carefully to me, Alexandra. Close your eyes. And hear only my voice. Close your eyes and remember our kiss. Think only of me. Bill is not important. You and I are important. Forget about Bill. Do you understand me, Alexandra? Yes, Father. Do you trust me, Alexandra? Yes. You? You and I, we must be together. I will possess you one day. I will take your soul. Do you understand me? Will you be willing to come here tomorrow, alone? I'll come whenever you ask. Will you be willing to give yourself to me? A young lady came here about a half an hour ago. She has to be inside. Thomas C., is he here? Look, young lady, she's Alexandra Parkman. I'm her boyfriend. Do you know who she is? <laughs>
I'm beginning to feel my age. Tomorrow night can't come soon enough. <laughs> Here's to our lives. May they last until worlds end. And to my future, the beginning of the Parkman legacy and the end of Thomas Seaton. <laughs> it's just not that simple. I wouldn't talk that way if I were you. Well, you're not me. You've been around for how long? And you've accomplished nothing. I just beginning will show the world the true meaning of power. Tell me, Allison, how old are you, really? <laughs> Only the devil knows for sure. Car. Where? St. Michael's, yeah. Okay. Okay, one. All right. Got it. We're on our way. What's the deal? Bill King. Alexandra Parkman's boyfriend. Jumped off a roof or was pushed. Where? St. Michael's. Come on. We're going to confession. Salve, salve, salve. You come to me to join our flock. In nomine Dei Nostri, Satana Luciferi Excelsi. Hosanna in profundis. Hosanna in profundis. In nomine Dei Nostri, Satana Luciferi in Excelsi. Remove the worldly garments and join our flock. You who come to me are sanctified in the name of Satan. You come of your own free will. Yes. Credo in Satanus. Deo benedictio in nomine Satanus. Salve, salve, salve. Davis, wake up. Oh, Dad, no. Please, can we go home? We've been in this room forever. We're not leaving till we're through, all right? This charm, or gizmo, or whatever the hell it is, is a common denominator in three of the four deaths. Alex Parkman knew everybody on this list, including the missing woman. We don't know that Brett Schaefer is missing. Her boyfriend, Norman, called me. She's been missing four days, all right? Anything anybody named Norman tells you. Besides, as for Judy the Happy Hooker, we don't know that she is missing. She's probably taken up with some rich John somewhere. I still say this gizmo has something to do with it. Her boyfriend said cult, okay? And her family, they're involved. And so is that church. And, and stop! What are we talking? Evil priests, devil worship, human sacrifices. The department shrink will be fascinated. No, listen to me. How come no one was at St. Michael's when Bill King died? No nuns, no priests, no nothing. How come the doors were locked? What kind of church is that? And I suppose all these people on the board were attacked by Satan, maybe? Isn't that special? Oh. So we believe in the beyond, the supernatural, the occult, is that it? Oh, that's fine. Look, I don't need your help. I can do this alone. Mm. Me help, Kimo Sabe. Jesus, it's freezing in here. Why don't they turn on the goddamn heat sometime? Well, what do you want? It's the first day of winter. Mm. <laughs> what day is this? It must be Wednesday by now. No, 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 no. The, the date. 
December 21st. You know Christmas parties, Christmas bonuses? That's it. That's it. The winter solstice. They're going to do it today. Tonight. Midnight, probably. That's when they always do it. Do what? Do what? What are you talking about? Come on, let's go. Where are you going? That church to get Alex. We're going to get her back. They're going to do it to her tonight. They're after her. Come on. Alex. Alex. How can I help you, gentlemen? Where is she? <laughs> How dramatic. You must be from the police department. Cut the crap, fart breath. You must be Thomas Seaton. Indubitably. You have got Alexandra Parkman, and I demand to know where she is. I'm Detective Dan Carr, homicide. This is getting tiresome. Look, I've got a phone warrant against you for a number of suspected homicides. I have a mass to perform, and I'm late. I bet you've never seen one this big before, have you? Well, you take another step and it may go off. <laughs> Not stopping. All right, put your hands behind your head and get on the floor. On the floor. Don't take You're another under step. You're under arrest. You're, this is... Shoot! Arrest! Satan, for the time approaches quickly. Are you fighting? No, Thomas. I will. Is she pure? Yes, I swear in the name of Satan. Is she a grandchild? 
Yes. I swear in the name of Satan. Ego sum radix et genus lucifer. Sterna splendid ad matutina. Transitia ome omnes qui concupiscitas me. Et ad generationibus me simple. Tenebrae convocabit me nox illuminatio me angelicis meis. Ave Satanus. Mr. Brown, if we might check the basement. 